Antonio Conte yeah. in at Tottenham. Is this the kind of guy that you'd like to have played for? Yeah, I, I think what you get with Antonio is a, somebody who don't play around with anything. You know, it's my way or no way. So if you mean training twice a week or twice a day, you have to do it. We've seen the benefit of people like Lukaku work with him. How Lukaku came back in is more leaner, more more trim as a player. I, I think Spurs players, the some of them have gone out of way that need somebody like Antonio Conte in the building to bring them to straight and be able to do you know do, do the job properly. That's a great example. The Absolutely. Lukaku example is a prime example, Simon. Yeah. He immediately sees something and changes it. Yeah, and you know one of my players, a former players, Victor Moses, obviously prospered and flourished under Antonio so much so that you know he got into the side that won the league and formed a back line of five that, that was a change of formation then went into Milan yeah. so I know what the view on of him he's a hard taskmaster but so what no, yeah. that, if you want to win it's a hard task isn't I, it, I, 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 I think now that you know there's a there's a say that play work too hard you have to work hard I think Spurs right now they need team mm -hmm. they need individual they need a manager who will say my way or no way you've got to get in there Work as hard as you can. Try to convince. Because you have a beautiful stadium. You, you, when you go to that stadium, look at it. You're thinking you have to run. Yeah. What well, you want to want to play in this. Play, and you need a manager who will get the guys in there and say, work for me, run around. And the first fan will get behind you. And then they'll be able to win games as well. So do you think for Reese this lunchtime, for the first time in a long time, if you're a Tottenham fan out there, all the pieces of the jigsaw are beginning to come together. Yeah, definitely. You have a wonderful club, you have decent players, yeah. you have a fabulous stadium, but you've got the guy at the top. But then there's another issue that I think we all know is the hurricane situation. Mm -hmm. It's either you get it done in January so that everybody knows where everybody stands, so we don't drag around come summer that if it goes, you go. Get it done, sort it out in the January or summertime so everybody knows where everybody stands. And then Antonio Conte will have 23 man squad that he can work with. Because speaking to Ashley Young a couple of months ago, is it's a 23 man squad. This is it. I'm not going to change anything. Everybody will stick into it and we're going to work with it. So that's the situation. And it will get the boys running. It will, I think that's what Spurs fans, when they watch them, say some of them don't work hard enough. And he's one of the guys that he would get you guys running again. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Why did it get to the stage it seemed to have got to at Tottenham, Fabrice? Did, did, why, did, why did the players not do it for Nuno when they absolutely had to do it for him? <laughs> Jim, I'm not there anymore, so I couldn't tell you. Uh, it, I don't know, different managers have a different way to lay in a message to the players. And it's how you deal with it as a player. And also, I think sometimes we all have a WhatsApp group and how you relate the message to each other. You know, And, and, and you get to the point where if we keep losing and the message is not coming across, sooner or later, the boys will start distancing themselves. And I'm not saying that the Spurs boys distance themselves. Just feel like no, they're, they're, I, I, they're I low, yeah. low in confidence, yeah. as you can see when you they play. And it just a lot of things just not adding up to it, you know. And, and, and you, you can also ask what happened to Pochettino because it seemed like there's still more or less the same score that he had that they've got right now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you saw Hoiberg post-match after yeah. the United game on, on Saturday evening. He said, I don't want to say too much at the moment. I mean, that spoke volumes, didn't it? I he's, mean, got, he's got plenty in his mind, but he's not going to say it. There, there, there must be a lot happening in training session during the whole week for him to come out and say such a thing. Because it must be things that's been building up for, you know, we see against my uh, against my United, against uh, Liverpool, when Maguire came out, what he said, mm, you think, yeah, well, yeah. there are a lot, a lot of things that that's been done over Good the point. week to, to for him to say that. So you, you want a reaction from them. And obviously this is going to come at any better time. I'm now on, they've got this game this weekend. Now we've got International Week coming on and if I was Antonio Conte, I'd just say everybody that's involved in International Week, just stay here, we'll all work for two weeks and then take on for the next game. <laughs> I think Fabrice has just nailed it. You can see <laughs> Conte doing exactly that, Simon. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm assuming he'll come in and be very definite. He's not going to come in and have a look, is he? He's no. going to come in and start going at it full tilt. I would imagine he'll do something very similar to what Tuchel did, which is look at the dressing room, look at who he thinks he can rely on, look at the solid, sensible players, and yeah. do what Tuchel did when he first went into Chelsea, was bring in all the players that perhaps Frank had put on one side and brought them in and said, right, I can, the younger players can wait a little bit, I yeah. can start to build some results. And I would imagine something like that is what he'll start with. But I, I will be, it will be interesting the type of formation he plays in because, you know, we've seen the Premier League over the past two years, three years, there's so many formation now playing left, right and centre. So with the squad that he's got, the quality that they've got, interesting if he's going to go two up front or one up front or five in midfield, whatever way, but it will be interesting that how Spurs player cope with his way of coaching the team. Yeah. And, and then, uh, you know, Spurs fan love to play some type of brand of football and you want you want that to come as well. Interesting to see, Jim, 
and Fabrice, how he handles the inevitable pile-on of questions about Harry Kane. Because that's what's coming next. The first press conference is him announcing he's, how much he loves Daniel Levy and how lucky he is to be at Tottenham. The next set of questions will be, what does the landscape look like? What's the situation with Harry Kane? Do you think he wants right. to stay? Why has he been so poor? Is right. he going to be part of your plans? And we'll see how forthright he's going to be when he discusses Harry Kane and people like that. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Thursday morning, 10 till 1. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.